Ronitz Lawrence here from Inner Runner, um, and this is the start of the channel all over again because we want to create structure and, and some sense of relevance and continuity. So that's why we sort of took all the the videos down, but this is the starting point. So the most important, I think, movement or entry segue into learning how to move congruently with your body and learning how to use your body to be able to express yourself in everyday life and athletically and when you're running, this is a great starting point. And it's simply syncing up um, your breathing patterns with movement patterns. And if there's a decorrelation with this or if your breath is antagonistic to your movement or if your breath is stuck and held and you're sort of frozen and stuck, um, we know that's a strong correlation to back pain, like an 85% link, link to back pain. And also it's very, very difficult to move well from that. Um, okay, so we start off with rounding and arching and sinking your breathing. So this is step one <laughs> for almost everyone. And I do it every single day. You should do this daily. Uh, repetitions, you're going to want to do about 10-ish or not 10. So why we say that is if you count to 10, you're going to be focused on counting, not moving. Yeah, so you lie on your back, on preferably a firm surface, but just get this done. You can do it in bed before you even get out of bed. Yeah, so my neck is neutral, my spine is straight feet underneath my hips, knees as wide as my shoulders, so not very wide apart, okay, feet underneath my knees, so knees, uh, feet, knees, hips, all in a straight line, okay, arms out, it's probably better if you go thumbs up and baby finger down, or slightly um, elbows painting, pointing towards the sky, so that your upper body is nice and relaxed, and we're going to breathe in an arch, and I can gently pull my shoulders back, and we're breathing in and out, everything's nose, nose breathing, nose breathing both in and out, and then I'm going to breathe out, and I'm going to round my spine, so this is like cat cow, okay, and I'm going to connect my ribs to my hips, and my, my pelvis is rotating this way, so breathing out, and then breathing in, arching your back, softly, my butt's pressing into the, into the floor, I can gently pull my shoulder blades towards each other so my whole back is contracting, my belly is soft and my chest is opening up. Then I breathe out, round. <laughs> I can feel my shoulders rounding if I want to. I can feel my tailbone rounding this way. Uh, my lower back's pressing into the floor. I want a sensation that my ribs are connecting to my head. So exhaling through the nose. I'm breathing in through the nose. And the count is a slow count of six in and six out. Out, one, two, three, four, five, six. In, one, two, three, four, five, six. And we're thinking big, delicious, organic movements, big layers. I want to almost feel my pecs, my six, like the whole front softly contracting and my whole back softly contracting as I breathe in. The whole front's letting go as I breathe in. The whole back's letting go as I breathe out. So there's a duality. You can either focus on the contraction or we can focus on the opposite side on the expansion. Okay, and you can focus on contracting the back but the front's just going to get bigger. So you can flip that in your mind. Okay, so a lot going on and just a very, very simple movement. Rounding and arching, breathing in and arching, breathing out and rounding. Okay. It's very good for your brain to do movements in three different planes. So you can do exactly the same on your side. We can breathe in and breathe out. And I'm rounding my spine and breathing in. I'm arching my spine. The same nice slow count. One, two, three, four, five, six out. One, two, three, four, five, six in, nose breathing both. And then um, during the day, you can practice running and arching. Um, let's say you're typing on the computer and you know your shoulders are up and near your ears. Or let's say you're riding a bicycle and you've flexed and your spine feels locked and static. Or you're driving and you know you're all crunched up and you're not feeling good. Or you're sitting on an airplane and you're starting to get, like I do, the, the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> you can do the sitting. So breathing in. Arching, breathing out, rounding. Yeah. And you can practice that rounding and arching. And later on, we'll start talking about like low back arching relationships and how it moves. You know, so you'll do your arch to extend. 
and we'll start building it up and layering it. Oh, my head's gone. Okay, so we'll start building up and layering these movements and making them more relevant. But as a daily practice, your breath gets wrecked when you sleep at night. Your breath gets, we hold our breath when we look at emails or screens, small screens, okay, screen or email apnea in anticipation. And a lot of us are, our breathing is not as good as you could. So we want to breathe as much as we can through our nose. Unless we're eating or talking, we should be nose breathing. Um, even easy exercise, we should be nose breathing in and out. Okay. And then that'll also help with your diaphragm. But this is step one. And then we'll do little movement lessons about nose breathing and about um, the next video that's important is how to use your hips synchronously. So we can start rounding, arching, and using our hips to get to where we want to go in life. Okay, take care people, have, um, look after yourself. All the other stuff, you know, like, subscribe, share, if you want, if you don't, you don't have to.